Morning! Well, how's everyone doing? Um, it's not raining for once. Fantastic. Um, gonna get the drill out in a bit, get that drilling finished off. Andy's pretty much finished plowing the field, just needs to do the headlands. The dogs are barking at me, I think it's a little squishy. Um, so yeah, hopefully we're gonna get some, some stuff done. And then a little bit later, I'll tell you more later as well, I'm gonna be going out with hopefully Flash Ash. You'll be getting off with the plow. Morning, Andy. So I better move my drill out of the way as it's uh, clogging up the space here. And then I'll get Andy some bales set out. We're on the 215 boost. Right, we're on a bit of a rush this morning. We've got to get straw down and ready for Andy. At the same time, this machine needs to be doing a mix. So I don't know how I'm, how I'm going to do that. But anyway, we'll just have to try and do our best. So we ain't got a mix either. Oh, we've got part. We've got about four buckets, and then we um, then we've run out. So yeah, it's going to be busy. I've used the reserve stack that's in the yard uh, to put it out this morning, so that we can. As you can see, my dad's already run out of eel. Andy's busy putting straw out. 215's packed up nicely there. And we better get in here, get on the mixer, sort this job out. I'm just crossing my fingers. I'm pretty sure it will have been done, but a pre-mix has been done in here. Otherwise, it is going to be a late fi uh, finish for feeding. Got my drill filled up with seed. I've got plenty of... Um, hydration products and um, we'll get off to the field start drilling finishing that field off and then start another one and then another one and then another yeah it's going to be a busy day so Andy's just getting the last few bits strawed up then he'll be coming down with the plough but he is a bit in front of me at the minute so we'll uh, go and get a bit of a head start on him we're here ready to go in look at how many conkers there is here though hey Endless fun with them. I always put a few in my pocket. We'll put a few in my pocket. And we might plant some. Eh? Oh, that's a big one there. Oh, brilliant. So we better um, drive into this field, find where the last tram line is, make sure that matches up with the GPS. Because people are asking, well, why, when you've got auto steer, do you need to put your tram line markers down? Um, because the satellites know where you are, I don't know, but with this auto steer on here, it's not RTK because to get it from John Deere, it's an absolute fortune. And um, yes, if you're farming thousands of acres, it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense for us. So the satellites drift. So what happens is um, it'll tell, it'll keep telling the, uh, telling it where, telling this. No, I'm starting again. Satellites are beaming down a time and that makes the tractor work out where it is now over time that drifts away so with rtk you have a base station and you know exactly where that base station is right so it's always got fixed coordinates so the satellite sends it down and it says oh i'm like two meters away from the actual coordinate of where the base station is and the base station's like no satellite's wrong right i'll tell the tractor move over two meters from wherever you're getting your signal from because the satellites are wrong at the moment. So, this tractor's not got that, so this will always be a little bit out. So, therefore, we can't just run our tram lines in and then hope that at the end of the day or tomorrow that every, the, the line will be in the same place, because it won't, it'll have, it'll have moved. And then we'll start getting issues and gaps in crops and bits and bobs like that. So, yes, it'd be lovely to have RTK on here. I've got it on the cheaper things, so the little CHC sat nav that I've got in the um, in the 130, that's RTK. The 6930, the one uh, the Ag Open GPS that I built myself, that's RTK because it's really cheap to be able to actually get RTK to work. But John, do you know this? So they code everything so that you have to use John Deere stuff or pay a big fee, pay a massive amount to to uh, unlock these things so yeah we just got cheaper cheaper with this one it's a free one our neighbors are working up some ground in new orleans it's like a bit like a tri-till or a lake subsoiler and then a 
big set of discs and the one in the background working in that base stubble. Tidy, everyone's out. So after saying all that, um, it looks like it's following the correct line this morning and it's not out. So um, yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And today it's working perfect. Because Oh, I don't know, we might be overlapping a little bit, but I'd rather start the day off overlapping than get, leaving a gap. Oh, we are really good. Oh, look at this mucky farm. Somebody's left some some band about, and it's wrapped around my uh, wrapped around my wheel, so we better get this off before it makes a mess. I've got around the telegraph pole. We had to do a bit of stitching around that. Then we might get the drill now, I think. If we've got a bit of time. We're not going to use a drone, maybe for some drone experts watching, that's flashing. Uh, my drone's like full of battery, that's fine, there's nothing flashing on there. And then when I connect that, the uh, lightning cable into the bottom, the iPhone says accessory not accepted. So what's going on? I don't know, I don't technical like this, somebody might know, let me know in comments. Fantastic, bonus points. These boys are getting the ground covered. Got two Michelin men on that one. Down this end of the field, it's a bit more clay, and ideally, it could be yeah, it could stand a few days drying. But yeah, it's just this patch. So putting an extra twenty or thirty percent seed down here, and uh, yeah, it's just gonna have to uh, gonna have to do. Just this patch sort of here, and then as you can see, when we get further up the field, it goes back real nice. What size New Orleans that then? Anybody has it a guess? Not sure. Looks like Andy's causing a traffic jam up there. It's a bad, bad road. Looks like nobody can work out what to do. Some people are backing up, some people are going forwards. I mean, what is going on? Good luck, Andy. There he is. That's it, letting them go around you. What a nightmare. Yeah, I was lucky going down that road today. I'm getting very, oh, I've still got my lights on, I? I'm getting very close to the end of this field. And he's gonna come and plow the edges now. I'm also getting low on seed. The EM should be on its way to fetch us some more cause that road is not nice to be going up and down with this. Um, still having the trouble with uh, having to put this down cause media and I forgot to get the 19 mil spanner to adjust it. but. Uh, Andy's coming around in a minute, so I'll get one of him. In fact, here they are now, look, Andy's there. Uh, and the TM with the seed is just uh, Brilliant. There it goes, working that up nice. I've got to do a bit of filling in along here um, so I need to shorten the top link so let's just get a little video of what that's like so two, two from the green and um, we'll knock the seed off as well sure how I get um need to stop colouring in though do I just turn auto track off maybe does that do it, it works still on isn't it mm. I don't know anyway somebody will know let me know in the comments is it easy as we come in through here, you'll see our beautiful Aberdeen Angus cattle grazing on the RSPB Nature Reserve. Still waiting for my lunch to be delivered. It's one o'clock and I'll have it at 12. Oh, it's getting hungry. But that leads me on to what I'm doing tonight with Ash. He is coming. He is going to pick me up. I'm crossing my fingers that uh, my dad's going to take me off on the drill. I had mentioned it to him yesterday. But I know when I mentioned it to him today, he'll hit the roof. Um, but we're going to Warrendale Waggle. Um, it's 
people at Alice Hawthorne. So a nice pub near York, and they're bringing out a new. Uh, should I tell you or not? A new product, basically. They're bringing out a new product, and they invited me to come along. And the last thing that I went to with Warrendale Wagle was nice. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll go, I'll go. So um, yeah. Maybe I'll tell you what it is tomorrow. Maybe have a guess. They're bringing out a new product. It's obviously, Warrendale Wagyu. It's beef. Um, they already do burgers. They already do uh, steaks and joints and bits and bobs like that. What new thing are they going to come up with? What will it be? A meat-free Wagyu burger? I don't think so. But who knows? Uh, let me know in the comments if you uh, if you've worked it out or um, you know already. So I've just come in here, starting a new field now. Plow's going. Uh, I've just put in my AB line, worked out where my tram lines need to be. And then we'll, I've worked it off this side. We'll start this other side and start going up and down. So this here is pretty much the only place on the farm where we bring up some stones. And we've got one here. That looks a big one, doesn't it? So we'll get that carried to the side. Oh, there we go. Combination of being unfit and um, having no dinner yet has led me. Uh, to get out of me that. He's walking across the plowing as well, sinking all the time. I've just been a wuss, I've just been a wuss. Anyway, I've just done the tram line here up the middle. We'll fill both sides in. Hopefully, it'll all work out. Sorry about the. Uh, what you love about this tractor is this fridge always a cold drink fantastic it is really good actually so we're really working down ground fast now we're doing 12k with a press and drill I don't think there's much faster I could go really it's not bouncing too much. It's making a nice job, so I'm happy. I'm having issues with this tractor now. Not like nothing major, but when I use the iTech, so the headland management system, pressing it to go down, it's been working perfect all day. Now the drill doesn't want to go down at the back, so I'm having to man manually press another button to, to make it go down. Not the end of the world. Also, with variable steering's encountered a fault. So, I think what I might do is turn the tractor on and then turn it back off again and cross my fingers that everything just refreshes and resets. Hopefully, it doesn't destroy any of my guidelines or anything daft like that. Shouldn't do, should it? Well, we'll find out. We'll wait for that to stop loading, and then we'll start it back up. She's up and running. Looks like things might be all good. My variable steer, that's come back on, which honestly makes a world of difference when you turn around on the end. Hopefully my high tech works as well. Truthful tell. Oh, which one is it? I think it's that one. Oh, she's gone down. Yes, that's what we like. One of the problems in it with tractors and so many computers on them, sometimes they need rebooting and just worry if that's the right decision to make because I didn't want to mess anything up in there. Which I shouldn't worry, now I know, I'll just turn it off and start it again. But yeah, it still shouldn't do that. Not the, the, the expense that these things are. It should just work every time. But, I don't know. It's, it's complex, isn't it? Anyway, I'm not going to go on too much. It's very nice to be in here and it's making my life easy. So if I have to turn it on and off, Every now and then, so be it. Yeah, it's real nice land to work, is this? I wish it was, it was like this. It'd be nice. They could almost just go in it with a drill. It's fine. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Sometimes it floods. <laughs> See in the bucket. Dad just reversing, we'll get it put in. 
Right, I'm leaving my dad to it. We'll see what uh, what it's like tomorrow. Twaggle job starts um, early, so I'm, I'm gonna have to uh, get off now. It's an hour and a bit to drive. I think, if, I don't know if Ash is picking me up or if I'm driving, I don't really care either way. I don't really want to be having too many bevies, so I'm more than happy to drive. Um, but anyway, we're gonna get in the um, JCB, head on home. And he's just coming in to do the headlands on here. Boost. All right. And he's just plowing out on the headland. It's a nice sight, that, isn't it, with the windmills behind? And then he'll bring his furrow back to the hedge side here. There he goes. I've got my yellow bag. I don't think my dad's fetched me any um, any dinner. So I'll have to get that when I get back to the farm. But it seems a bit pointless because I'm going to be going to try the Warrendale Better not say what it is, would I? Don't know what he's done here. Won't go into gear. No, part break. That's it. We're on it. Because I've not been able to get any pictures of the drill working, have I? With me sat on it. There it is. I've got the uh, auto steer set up for him. So it should be pretty plain sailing. Unless he gets some like computer errors like I did earlier, they could really mess the job up for him. At 20 past three, that corned beef sandwich was, sorry, didn't really eat on video, absolutely delicious, but I'm running out of a lot of time, so I need to nip back now, have a shower, and get ready, I think it's um, smart casual. I don't think Joe Seals' tyre is going to do it because of this, because of this uh, event. So if um, if you have liked today's video, like, um, subscribe, check out the merchandise. Sorry, it's not smart casual. And um, yeah, maybe I'll get some footage either to put in next in tomorrow's video or a separate video of the um, Waggle, uh, Warrendale Waggle conference. Not conference, um, party thing that we might be doing. Anyway, check it out. Right, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.